Can't keep my dick in my pants. Hey, my bitch don't love me no more. Hey, she kick me out on life, bro. What is going on guys? Welcome back for another GTA video. Today we're coming to brand new Honest Hellion Helion. What the hell you wanna call it? This is the newest 4x4 SUV that is in the Super San Andreas. This one is gonna be right at the top. It is a whopping eight hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. What it says once upon a time an off-road was designed to cope with mud rocks, marshes and hills, the Helion Helion, whatever you call it, on the other hand, has been physically calibrated to go to 35% sand dune on just the right side of bursting the flames, which will make all the, uh, the difference in rush hour. Now, what I do know about this vehicle is that it has a decent amount of customization options, which I really do enjoy. I love the fact that I can actually customize vehicles how I want. It Yes, it only has 22 options, but at the same time, when you go through with the bumpers is one of the major customization things. You've got the front bumper delete, ram plate, primary ram plate, secondary bull bar, primary bull bar, secondary bull bar, lifted ram bar, primary lifted ram bar, secondary lifted ram bar, bull bar two, primary bull bar two, secondary bull bar two, bull bar three, pull primary bull bar three, secondary bull bar three. Those are a good amount of options for it. Now, one of my favorite ones for some reason is the primary lifted bull. I don't know why. And with the rear bumpers, you have a rear bumper delete, of course, just like the front ones. Light cage, primary light, secondary light, ram bar, primary ram bar, secondary ram bar, competition kit, primary competition, secondary competition. It's not as many options with the rear bumper, but at the same time, it's a decent amount. That's a lot more than that's you know really expected to be with this. Now, this is another major one. Another major one is going to be the exhaust because you've got the exposed air, the intersected turbo, big daddy turbo, V8, oval intake, triple intake, twin turbos, which is kind of weird. Twin turbos with air filters. That's a huge increase with the customization. It would make it, stuff like this makes it look crazy. At the same time. Like it, it all depends on what look you're going for. Like with the this one's very sleek and almost like Jeep off, Jeep off road style. The only ones that go in the back are going to be the stock ones. Every single one up here is going to be on the front or on the side, and they all are going to require to hood to be removed except for the exposed air filter. So it's kind of hard to really choose which ones you really really want which I'm gonna go with the twin turbo with air filters just because fenders there is another huge amount of customization ops on here because you've got standard stock uh, they've got bolt-ons there's a lot of flared ones and with the with the flared ones you can you can have a lot of uh, different options on those two grills just like another one, we've got 11 options, and it seems to be a decent amount. That's pretty good too. Like the exposed, I kind of like the graded ones. To be honest with you, lights just uh, it's just a simple, simple one. Now the library, that's another option that's pretty nice. Like you've got, of course, white straps. You can't see because it it's white. Black atomic sponsor, which is barely visible. Then you've got Redwood, of course. Redwood is a very common one, number 56. Then it's got a whole bunch of small little logos inside with it. This one's kind of a, uh, you know, a, I wonder if it's a coincidence why they have the Cool Hand Lube Motor Oil along with the 69. This one, I was told, is a reference to Jurassic Park. This is one of the vehicles they had in Jurassic Park, and this is supposed to symbolize, you know, the vehicle that they had. Now, the next one, the Patriot Beer, this one would have been a very good one to have on 4th of July because of, you know, obviously Patriot. And of course, everybody knows about Impotent Rage. He is, you know, it's a superhero in this game. They've got a whole skin for him. But what's also nice, this is the Nightmare one. The Nightmare one almost looks like a Gravedigger kind of Monster Jam kind of library. I don't know which one I'm really going to do. I think I'm just going to stick with the Lube in 6.9 because, you know, 
Who who else wouldn't do that? And I always go to yellow and black, respray. Let's see what our uh, secondary is gonna look like. Cause it's it's kind of hard to decide sometimes on which one you want to get. I almost want to see if I can match that uh, 69, but I don't think you can. It's not really looking like it. So yeah, it's not really looking like we're gonna be able to match it entirely. So we'll just stick with the ice white. And then we're going to go let's see what our primary looks like. No, not not that one, my bad. Primary let's see, let's go. Let's go to red on that one. I don't want to crew emblem on this one, so we're gonna go with let's go to secondary on the back, but we're just gonna stick with that much. Okay, this is another thing too. With the roof stuff, they have light bar. The raid rack and the raid kit, which is the light bar and the you know, ski rack. But what I don't like about it is the fact that the light bar does not work, so it's almost pointless. Any extra lights you have or they put on here, none of them work. I don't know why GTA did that, but why put a light bar and like extra lights for a bumper on here if they're not gonna work? We're not lower than this. Like that's like doing a job half ass. Like nobody really really cares about that stuff. Because like I don't like the fact that they want to half ass do it. Yeah, we're gonna calm rim this. I mean if I if I go out and I do something, I'm not gonna damn half ass it. Tires, tire enhancements, bulletproof tires, of course we're gonna do it with that one. Window plates. Now this is another thing too. Window plates, uh it was tested it does seem to block off a lot of stuff but at the same time we don't know entirely if it is going to be like completely bulletproof or not so here we are we're looking at the fully completed of my version in a way i like the hood but in a way i kind of don't but let's go ahead and take it outside and see how it actually drives and see if that's any better Alright, here we are outside, and it does seem to take off fairly quickly. It has decent handling. I mean, it is a four-wheel drive vehicle. It is not really designed for on-road usage. It's also it's, it's mainly designed for off-road use. And we're going to take it on over here and see what we're looking like on the outside part of it. Well, not really outside, but the off-road parts of it. Because that's the main factor in if this thing is going to be roadworthy or not. This... We, it's a good vehicle to use while racing and stuff, but it's n it's not going to be the best off-road vehicle to use. There is a lot of traction. I'm climbing these hills like, you know, there's no tomorrow. There's there's no doubt about that. The full drive is going to help you with your traction, but you're still going to you're still going to hit trees, you're still going to slide around a good bit. But this is definitely a good car to get away, use as a getaway vehicle because when you're getting up the mountains and stuff running from cops or, you know, Griefers, you're gonna be able to get away fairly quickly, and if those windows are actually bulletproof in the back, it's gonna help you stay alive a little bit longer. But for the most part, this is a decently, pretty decent vehicle to be honest with you. How's one? Okay, how's one tire gonna spin like that? <laughs> I, I do like it. I don't like the price tag on it because after you know upgrades and all that are said and done, it's close to a million dollars, if not right at a million dollars. And it's got decent handling, it's got really good traction. There's not a lot of top speed, but it is a four-wheel drive SUV. But, that's going to be about it for this video. If you guys haven't, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscription button, turn on post notifications, and drop a like. If you liked the video, if you haven't, or even if you did, leave a comment on what you would have done differently, what you liked about it, or you know anything in that sorts. And as always, stay lit.